The inspiration for the chicken recipe that I'm using today is by the original Naked Chef YouTube channel and what was the other one? Uh, I was just looking at it. What was it? Cooking Horizon by Taz. So a shout out to you two. Both the YouTube channels. Thanks for the inspiration. The birdie stuck in the grocery store. What you doing, birdie? Where are you going? Looking for a foods? Interesting. I guess the doors are big enough they fly in. Okay, once again, I'm flying by the seat of my pants. Based on a couple of recipes I looked at online, again, I'm going with what I have. And I definitely need to get a measuring cup and some measuring spoons. So, that was one cup of all-purpose white flour. Tablespoon of uh, black pepper, cayenne pepper. About almost a full tablespoon of that. I'm just going to sprinkle in some of this uh, ground ginger. Just a bit. Maybe a half a teaspoon's worth. This is uh, salty. I'm not putting any salt in. Regular salt because this is actually has a salty taste to it as well as uh, bringing some heat and other spices. So I'm going to go with... Uh, about a teaspoon tablespoon of this next time I do this I'm only using a half a cup of flour and then I'm going to double up on the uh, spice the oven preheating to um, four and a quarter 425 Fahrenheit I think that's somewhere around 220 Celsius in that neighborhood somewhere but what I do have is, I can't believe it's not butter. Margarine. I'm going to use this one. And use about a good sized tablespoon. And this is going to go into the oven and melt. This is the pan I'm going to use. washed my hands, I've washed the chicken, I've, I've dried the chicken with the uh, paper towel. Set this over here. Take this out. Always wash your hands before you handle raw chicken and after. Now these are going to go in the oven for 30 minutes, but I'm going to set the timer to flip them at uh, flip them at uh, 15. And put some butter in here. Again, this is me flying by the seat of my pants. I don't know what I'm doing other than following other people's direction. If you're wondering why I'm making so many when there's only me, 
like I've said in other videos, I, uh, long haul truck driver, I always make extra food so I can put it in Tupperware containers and take it on the road. Okay, let's fire this in. This one's not hot, but this one is. Fifteen minutes. Timer. So here in a cast iron pan, I've tossed in a bag of frozen mixed veggies with about two tablespoons of olive oil this is, uh, and salt and pepper. And of course my three combination spices. Those are the two sidekicks I've made already. I'm going to put pieces of chicken in each and vegetables in each. This is the part of the video where I say if you like this type of content of a guy, just a bachelor who's actually married and wife lives in Thailand, flying by the seat of his pants, trying to learn to cook, and the food is actually turning out good thanks to following other people on YouTube, go ahead and uh, subscribe, like, and hit the bell if you want to see more content. That'll be the stir-fried vegetables with a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. Okay, that water's come to a boil, so I'm going to put these two packages in. Parmesan pesto. Eight minutes. tricky for me doing uh, more than one thing at the same time. My wife from Thailand is going to be calling any time now. Boy, do I ever miss her. I wish she was here. And if you're watching this video much, I love you, sweetie. I miss you a whole bunch. I need you tonight. Okay, that's 15 minutes. I'm taking that out. timer went off for the uh, Parmesan pesto it just says leave it on the heat well it doesn't say remove from the heat it just says turn it off stir it and wait five minutes to for that water to absorb by the way they didn't say to cover it for that five minutes and that's what it looks like after the water's been absorbed that's five minutes now we're just waiting for the chicken and all will be well with the world. There we have it. Look at that. As soon as that cools off for a while, I'll let you know how it tastes. Okay, there's the other two, four, or five pieces. Don't they look scrumptious? There is my supper plated. And now for the what everybody's been waiting for. How does it taste? Okay, the moment we've all been waiting for. Thank you, Lord, for this food. Bless it to my body's nourishment and strength. I pray there's nothing here in my recipe that can harm me in any way, shape, or form, only that which is nutritional for my body. To the glory of your Son, Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Still hot. Let's see. It's cooked. It's juicy. It's cooked. I'm thinking 
I could have gone a little bit more with this with the uh, Cre Crayola sauce sauce the seasoning you can put it on after I like cooking with it I can taste it but it is salty that's why I use it sparingly but it also brings heat and that's why I say I could have gone a little bit more either with that or with the cayenne pepper. Based on that amount of uh, flour, that's why I'm saying I got, I, from now on I'm going half a cup, half a cup of flour. If I need more, I'll do more. But anyway, thanks for watching. It's tasty. We want to see how the vegetables are. Good, good. Now where's my fork? Try out this. I've never had this stuff before either. This noodle. This Parmesan pesto. That's pretty tasty. Goes good with the chicken. The nice herbs in there. Really tasty. I like that. All right. Thanks again. Take care. I'm out. You want a Mac?